we are back, and we are joined by one of our guests of our show, Classified. How are you doing, Class? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you again. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah. It's been about a year. So it has, yeah. yeah, yeah. Busy year for you. Up. Yeah, it has been, man. A lot of touring, just, you know, like we were just saying, just promoting the, the album, Handshakes, Middle Fingers, trying to do it for a full year, and wrapping it up. So a good way to wrap it up since we started it with the interview. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a full year now. What's yeah. it? Uh, what's the response been like? Has it been overwhelming? Um, yeah, well, it's just been great. Like, just been busier than ever. We played more shows this summer, like doing a lot of festivals and stuff, and just some university tours, our own tour, and then jumping on this here, which is like 32 shows and like, you know, five to 10,000 people a night. So it's been good, man. A lot of new people have been hearing the music, and that's the goal is just to get new people to hear the music and what I've been making. Yeah, and that's something we touched on in our last interview. You know, you're reaching out to your fans and, and trying to get the word out there as best you can, and I think within the last year, you've done a good job of that. Yeah, just, you know what I mean? Like I always say, live shows just help spread the you know what the music's about just to even see the live show and get that interaction and especially at a show like this where it's a lot of people who don't know my music yeah. it's a ton of people here in it, well, so. it's actually interesting that you mentioned that because uh, when I saw you were touring with Headley I was like whoa that's different for him how'd you get on that tour uh, they just asked me to do it we like can. we played a couple shows with them over the years and stuff so I, I knew the guys they were always really cool guys and stuff and I knew it was different musically and it took me a second to think like does this make sense are a lot of my fans gonna be like oh I don't want to go to this whatever whatever but I've toured Canada many times, you know what I mean? A lot of my fans have seen our shows, and I'm like, this is a whole different opportunity for people who don't necessarily know my music, or even if they do, they don't really know the show. You know what I mean? They might have heard a song or two or yeah. something, but to really show them what I'm about and what I'm trying to represent, so it's, it's been good. a good way to reach out to new crowd, yeah, yeah, new fan definitely. base. It's, you know what I mean? Whether it's opening for Headley, opening for Snoop Dogg or Wu-Tang or whatever, it's it's always a different audience that might enjoy my music, so. Yeah, and the intern had a question. Right there. <laughs> um, I had a question, yeah, I was just, well, like, recording the first album when you first started like the feeling you know when you first start you got like this great like oh my god I'm doing this is it still like that same feeling with like the even the last album like or is it you're kind of like oh yeah when you make the record like you know back in the day it was cool just to record a verse yeah. the rap was whack the beat was whack it didn't even sound good but it was like oh shit my voice is on a song you know I mean you felt good now it's you know it's just basically building up to it now you finish a song and it's like you know, if, if I'm really proud of it, it feels like, oh, there's so much going on in it. Keeps, you know, it's just something I really enjoy. Then, yeah, you still get that feel like, I did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just that good feel, yeah. Wicked. So what's next for you then? I mean, you're wrapping up the Handshakes Middle Finger promotion and tour. What's next? Um, not sure yet. Might go to the States for a couple of weeks or might just start the next record. And yeah. He's been doing a lot of production with a lot of other artists yeah, too. So working with uh, this kid named K.O. Yeah. He's been on the road with me, and we just finished his record up. He's doing some stuff with EMI, so it's going good. And just did some stuff for Maestro Fresh West, uh, doing some stuff for Do Shed, hopefully, and keeping busy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just trying to you know get the production side of things going, but always working on my own music too. So. So you're in Winnipeg on St. Patrick's Day. After yeah. this tour, you're going to do anything? Nice green show. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tonight, uh, we, we do something every night. We'll be having some drinks tonight. I don't know where, where it's going to take us, but I'm sure it'll be somewhere. Green beer, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure <laughs> some, some tonight. Anyway. Wicked. Um, I always like to throw this opportunity out to you when you reach out to your fans. Anything you want to say to them this time? Um, just, you know, especially with the new people that are just listening. Yeah. I, just a lot of people hit me up on Twitter and just saying, you know, I never heard of you before, saw you at the show, blah, blah, blah. Big fan now. And... You know, just big up to those people who are, are open to hearing new music and uh, just communicate with me. I like talking yeah. to people on Twitter. And shit. You're pretty good about that. Hey, did you end up getting Jets tickets or what? <laughs> uh, we we did. We were supposed to go last night, but we didn't get in town in time. What? So oh, man. Tommy from Headley got to go. I guess he had a good time, but yeah, yeah we didn't get to go. I just saw that tweet, and I was like, class, I got tickets, man. Oh, yeah, we were parked just, <laughs> this was like, you know, two, three weeks ago. We were parked just around the arena, just sitting there, and was going in. Like, uh, <laughs> You're like, I need to go. Wicked. Uh, Dan, the intern, any other questions? Um... I think it's good. Yeah? Yeah, cool. Well, thanks, class, for uh, joining yeah. us here again. Always good to see you, man. You too, man. And anything else you want to add? Uh, man, I love your music, man. And, like, uh, you know what you're doing with Chad Hatcher? I love that guy. He's good, too, man. Like, yeah, I Chad all just finished the EP, actually, like actually, a five-song EP. I yeah, yeah. I love it, man. It's so good. And, and like, I never got to hear it all. It's pretty oh, good. It's so good. I, like, really that's, good. you know, it's it's good. And I like how, you know, you, uh, you guys, like, work together. And it's cool. I like, you know, it's, it's just good to, like, see kind of like all you guys were doing different songs chemistry together so stuff. chemistry it's cool yeah, you know yeah, yeah it's cool man we were actually talking to him the day before I left on tour but yeah, he'll be back out making some more stuff and cool, yeah. yeah man staying busy classified ladies and gentlemen joining us here on the Amos Nandy show yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm the one making many beats, pumping in the trunk, I'm the one...